All right, let's talk about parent-child relationships inside of Salesforce. And what I mean by parent-child is how data is represented and related to one another. Speaking of related, a good way to see related records or related objects would be from the related tab on an individual record in Salesforce. And so typically what you see in these related lists would be considered children to the parent record. And I'm in an account record right now. It's a fictional company, Zimmerman 6 Inc. And under the related list, we find contact records, opportunity records, and case records. These are three primary related objects to the account object. And so I want to give you a visual representation of this as well. So remember that we're on the account detail page, related re records for uh, contacts, opportunities, and cases. So if I go into a tool that's available to Salesforce administrators behind the scenes inside of setup called Schema Builder, I've highlighted or shown or selected only the account, contact, opportunity, and case objects. Okay, so this is how the data is structured or the objects are related to one another inside of Salesforce. So we have the parent, which is the account, and then you can hover over these blue lines here to see that this particular line is a lookup relationship from case to account. So it's looking up from the child level up to the parent level. So case is the child, account is the parent. Same holds true for opportunity. It's a lookup relationship from opportunity up to the account. So it's parent-child, account is the parent, opportunity is the child. And finally, the contact object as well as a lookup relationship from contact to account. And so you can go to an account record and see the related list for contacts, cases, and opportunities. But if you were to go to an opportunity record, a contact record, or a case record in this instance, you can see the account that it belongs to, but that would be in an individual field called account or account name or something like that. You won't see related lists from the child level looking up to the parent level. It works the other way. So you'll be at the parent level, you can see the related list. At the child level, you just have the field in here. You can't really see this too well, but I'll zoom in in the schema builder and move this over. We have the account name on opportunity. We have account name on contact right here. And then finally, we have account name on case. So from the front end, we can access any of these child records by clicking on them from the related list. So the contact of Zim Zimmerman, we have in the details, you will see the account as account name, but you will not see a related list for accounts. There are other related lists that Zim could potentially be connected with, such as opportunities, cases, etc. But I can go back to the account level by clicking the account name there, and as well, click on the opportunity. You'll see the opportunity has related lists over here to the right, but you won't find account related lists. You'll find account under details, and the account name is here. And then if I go back to the account, finally, related list for cases, I can go on one of those, and you won't find related lists for accounts at the child level, once again you will find the account name in the details section. So child records, you find the parent in the details section, but on the parent level, you will find children via related lists and not in the details, all right? So that's parent-child relationships. If you found this Salesforce tutorial helpful, please do like and subscribe. Leave a comment below for what you'd like to learn next, and I just might make it my next Salesforce video. And until then, I'll see you in the cloud.